What issues are important to you? Um, there's a lot of issues. I mean, locally, I, I guess it's probably selling the report. Um, education, obviously, is, is an important factor. Um, and family. Yeah. I mean, we're, as you probably know, we're dead against the Prime Minister's Brown's plan to sort of sell a port off to the French or an unstable Middle Eastern country or whoever. We just think it's just not sensible to sell our borders off. And the other thing is we want proper border control because too many people, you know, getting human trafficked into the country or breaking into the country. A lot of drugs and weapons, we want to put a stop to that as well. Definitely. Definitely. Time for change. Well, I'm doing my best. The other thing, I we're, hope so. <laughs> we're trying to get a proper hospital back in the town as well. That would be really good. Because we've not town. got anything. What party are you? Conservative. Conservative. It's my first vote this year. Yeah. So I'm voting for you. You're gonna give me a go. What you've just said there. Yeah. For you, come on up. Come on up. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Charlie Elbe. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, it's my first vote this year. I've been a bit confused, but, yeah. but from what you've just said there, I'm clearly voting for you now. Brilliant. What do you feel strongly about? What's most strongly about? What about our area or yeah. just all around? And all around. Money problems, petrol mm. prices and that stuff, like coming new to driving this year. Yeah. Paying one twenty a litre is ridiculous. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? It's stupid. Going up through the roof. Especially like I'm doing um, a commute to Canterbury every day. Yeah. Gets a bit expensive after a while. Community around here is not enough for kids to do it at all. Yeah. So you're just gonna end up with a lot of children on the street doing crap really. And you know you know the Charlton Centre? Yeah. Well Sainsbury's has said that they may sort of have their, their store site there, they may allow it to be used, because they're not using it for a shop, they allow it to be used for young people to have more to do, and I've been sort of trying to raise money off charities and things like that to try and make it a reality, because be people keep saying town. there's nothing to do for young people, it's terrible. <coughs> there was a rose bees in town, like, yeah. some like, shop in town, and they opened that up to kids for mm. a while. Something like that would be great, Yeah, like just a drop-in centre for kids really. And I'm really keen on the idea of a sort of drive pub or youth cafe, people can go and hang out, chat, play on playstations. So yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it was in town. And that was always packed with children, so I don't that's see why it's such a bad idea, yeah. but the council just won't get involved with anything like that. Well, I've been working with the sort of district council on the county council saying we do need more for younger people to do, and it's just not on. You know, I mean, you do, you organise carnival do things and you know, things yep. like that. You know, which is great for the young people. Yeah, it gives them something it to is. do, it gives them a sense of pride. It does. So, make, let's build a town we can all be proud of. Definitely. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Sounds nice good. to see you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too, chat. All right, take Enjoy care yourself. then. All right, see you later, mate. Actually, I've been helping Charlie campaign for about three weeks now. So have you found it on the doorstep then? I've actually really enjoyed it. But what have the people been talking to you about? Um, they've been speaking mostly about immigration and um, selling off of the port. And how did you get involved in politics in the first place? Um, I've always been interested in politics. I started, I've always been around newspapers, news has been on at home. My parents have talked to me about politics and then I decided to study politics at school. So I thought actually getting out there and helping would be a good way to are people quite surprised at how young you are? Um, I've had some people who've asked me how old I am. They've been surprised that I'm out helping when I'm not old enough to vote, but because I don't have a vote, I really want to help and make a difference because I'm not able to vote for the next government. Do you see a career in politics beckoning? Um, I'd leave it open as a possibility, but I want to explore other things as well. Okay. How do you think it's gone on the doorstep then, shall we? Well, I have to say, we're really encouraged. I mean, we've said to people in Dover, look, what we want to get is a proper hospital for this town, we want to stop the port being sold off to the French or whoever by Gordon Brown. And we also want to see um, our borders properly protected. We're against the government firing all our sort of border officers who just think it's absolutely wrong. Uh, and people are saying to us, well, you know, we like what you're saying. We like the, st the things we're talking about for regeneration and making this town much more sort of rich, with more jobs and money. We've been really encouraged by the, the response. And. Um Dover itself, um, it is a Labour seat. How confident are you of taking it? I don't think anyone can ever dare be sort of, uh, you know, complacent or triumphalist. It looks very promising, but there's a long way to go between now and polling day. Uh, I feel encouraged so far, but not complacent at all. It's going to be a very tight, very tight race. And you enjoyed doorstepping? Very much so. Love it. Thank you know, you. there's nothing like getting out and talking to the people, is there? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>